Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you out there pushing His word with all truth and sincerity, and to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. And uh, I just want to go into a quick lesson, man. Um, you know, uh, law willing, it'd be edifying. But as I was just sitting here meditating, you know, uh, the Heavenly Father, how he have his prophets, you know, in Yahweh Shai. You know, they had their prophets out on the highways and hedges, you know, week in, week out, pushing the word, man. Warning, not just, you know, our people being the Israelites, which, uh, Israelites, which consist of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but also we prophesying into the nations. But mainly so our people, though, because, you know, we have the opportunity of repentance. We have an opportunity to be saved from the destruction that's coming. The heathens don't, you know. But nevertheless, the Lord uh, got Israel um, uh, hearing the word 24-7, whether it's on the highways and hedges, you know, whether it's a YouTube, everybody on YouTube, you see, it's easy to access a video. You know, all hey, even social media, everybody on social media, you got uh, Jake's who put, you know, the truth on social media. So therefore, there's no excuse for our people um, not to want to hear it or, you know, uh, take heed unto it, man. You know, but what I want to touch on in this lesson is that the two thirds, you know, which the two thirds are here in America, but the two thirds will, <laughs> they will understand the truth on this side, you see. But it ain't going to be into those missiles right over their heads, though. You know, it's going to hit them once everything that they um, have heard the prophet say, especially in that day when it happened. They go understand that it was the truth the whole time. But then again, it's going to be way too late. Those missiles going to be over their head. The destruction going to be on their face uh, in their face, man. Well, shit, a missile might be on their face, <laughs> you know? But straight up, they ain't going to understand the truth until the end when the destruction comes. That's when they going to get it, man. You know, so I just want to hop straight into the scriptures, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. Like I said, it shouldn't be none um, longer drawn out. I'm going to try to get straight to the point, but let's start with this. And I ain't got no, no set precepts. You know, we just going to roll through the spirit, see what the Lord got. But uh, let's get this. This is Isaiah 6. Right, Isaiah 6. Now, the Lord, he trying to find out, look, who will go uh, speak unto Israel for me? And Isaiah, he volunteered to do it. Right? So let's start. Um, let's start at 8. Isaiah 6 and 8. It says, also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And right. We are sent to uh to the nation of Israel, man. You know, second edge fifteen, the Lord said, uh, he had put his words in our mouth, you know, go um uh, teach his people, uh prophesying to the Israelites, roughly paraphrasing. And it's, it's all over the scriptures, you know. That's just the one that popped up into my mind. But so Isaiah said what? He said, Send me. Right? Verse nine. And he said, Go. So this is the most high speaking to Isaiah now, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed. But understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest, right? Lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. So the Lord telling us that, look, go and speak to these people. But look, they ears, they ain't got the, the, the spiritual ears and eyes to understand. They ain't going to understand. They ain't going to believe you. Well, they, the scripture said, who have believed our report? They ain't going to believe you. <laughs> they ain't going to get it. Right? He said, unless, right? Unless they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, understand what their hearts convert and be healed. In order, like Yahweh said, being born again, becoming as that uh, 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 little child. You see, being born again and being retaught and understanding the truth. Repenting, that's that a convert, you know, repenting, 
you see, and ultimately changing our life. And that's what the elect going to do. But the two thirds, they ain't going to do that. You see, because it says next, then said, I, Lord, how long? So Isaiah said, Lord, how long these people going to be blind? <laughs> how long these people going to be asleep? Matter of fact, before we found out how long, which, you know, you know, but already, you know, I know what I'm getting into. But uh, let me get this real quick. Right. Because um, the scriptures say this, this is Romans 11 and 7. And then we go find out uh, when Israel, what well, the two thirds going to wake up. Because Isaiah said, how long? And the most High going to tell them how long they going to be sleeping when they going to wake up. But let me get this real quick. Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. And what a what a us as Israelites seeking for, man, the truth, you know, whether it's biblical truth, truth in general, or, you know, our people may not, you know, be looking for the truth within the Bible, but they want to know, well, why are we in these conditions? Or, you know, why are people suffering? So on and so forth. Well, look, that truth is within the scriptures. Israel trying to obtain that, whether they know it or not. But the scripture says, is what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see? So the elect going to get it. Like Yahweh Shai said, it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. It's spoken in parables, man. It's not for them to get. You know? It ain't for them to, to understand, you know, convert and be healed. That's for the elect to do. You know, that ain't well, John, John um, the Baptist said it. The elect are those fruits meet for repentance. They ain't just fruits, <laughs> you know. They ain't just fruits. No, they want us meet for repentance, man. Perfect. You know, that's the elect. It says, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. According, verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So the most high is blinding two-thirds of our people. <laughs> as harsh as it sounds, the heavenly father is blinding two-thirds of our people for his purpose. And that purpose is to destroy them. Now, one might say, well, that's harsh. That's wrong. Right? Well, first, the most high can do what he want with his creation. Like the scripture saying in Romans 9, who are thou to reply against the most high? Second, you don't know what the Most High going to judge people for. You don't know what these people done done in, in this current life or in their past life. But everything with the Heavenly Father is fully justified, man. So he don't want blinding Israel. You see? But uh, let's go back to that. Right? So Isaiah 6. And um, let me see where we stopped at. I, I read... 9 again, Isaiah 6 and 9, it says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. Lest, so they ain't gonna better understand, it says, Unless they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, understand with their heart, convert and be healed. And that's the elect. It says, then said I, Lord, how long? How long Jake going to be blind, Lord? Lord, how long they ain't going to understand the truth? Lord, how long Israel not go obtain that which he seeking for? <laughs> it says, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant <laughs> and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate man so the lord gonna keep two-thirds blind until he bring the destruction <laughs> and when he bringing the destruction again missiles might be falling then it's gonna hit jake damn this is this was the truth those niggas we seen on the corners they wasn't lying that's the day they're going to understand the truth. But again, that's the day it's going to be too late. You see? Man, Isaiah said, Lord, how long? And this is the most High said. And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant. And the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate. And that's the judgment for America. Because two-thirds, when they say that two-thirds scripture, 
two thirds shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left. Yeah, that's talking about in America. This is the land that's going to be utterly desolate. This is the man that's going to be have the house without man, without inhabitant. America. So the two thirds going to die here in a place that they didn't believe. <laughs> Just like Israel, the, the elect going to get saved in a place, you know, that they, they believed in it. It was uh, told you are not the people, but in a place it was told unto them, you are the people. What well, the elect going to get saved because they obtained it, but not, not the two thirds, man. You see, it's gonna be too late. They're gonna this is what they're gonna realize right here. Let me get Ezekiel 33. And I wind it down. You know, so look, two-thirds, Jake Dangle, look, right now they scoff, you know, unbelievers. Now, you know, granted, the scripture says um that people shall be willing in the day of our power. But again, that's only for those who the Lord gonna have mercy on. He ain't just gonna have mercy on just everybody. Antiochus, <laughs> for example, Antiochus was an Edomite. Antiochus was looking for mercy of the Lord and said, all right, since you apologizing now, I'm going to just have mercy. No, <laughs> you know, he ain't have mercy on him, man. When that door of mercy shut, it's over. You know, we're not just, you know, Antiochus, but uh, it's J Jake in general. Our people, Antiochus is an Edomite. Even our people, the Lord ain't always going to show mercy. You know, like he said, as he said to Moses, he going to show mercy to whom he want to show mercy, man. Right? But let's get this. This is what Jake going to realize um, on the day of their judgment. This is, uh, man, the point in 33, but I'm going to start up. Right? Uh, this is Ezekiel 33, and I'm going to start at. Like I said, the point in verse 33, but I'm going to start up a little bit at verse 30. So Ezekiel 33 and 30 says, also, thou son of man, the children of thy people, the Israelites, right? Jake, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, you know, and that's our people talking shit. Prophets out there trying to get you the message to save your life, but you scoffing, you talking shit. You know, all on the all on the videos, leaving comments. You see, but it says, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, "Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that coming from the Lord." Let's see what these niggas talking about, man. These niggas talking about UFOs, missiles, man. Let's see what these niggas talking about, right? It says, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will do them not. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, as one that have a pleasant voice. And he can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Again, they don't obtain it. Two-thirds ain't go obtain the truth. They hear, don't do it. Hear, don't believe. But this is the point. And when this come up to pass, lo, it will come. So all these things that we talking about, martial law, concentration camp, mark of the beast, Esau coming in with the military troops with great wrath, right? Missiles going to touch down. UFOs, so-called, going to be shooting fires. A so-called black, dark-skinned man, you know, standing on a UFO, the son of the heavenly father. <laughs> come on, man. All these things, Leviathan, right? We telling our people, all newly created creatures, all the judgments that's coming, they don't believe. But when it do come, it says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them, man. <laughs> then they going to know in that day when it's in their face, then they going to believe, man. But again, what the Lord said is going to be too late. What he said in Zechariah 7, you know, when he when he cried out to Israel and how he cried by his prophets prophesying, the Lord said, look, when I cried out, you ain't here. You ain't want to hear. So when the day of trouble come, the Lord said, now y'all going to cry out, but I ain't going to hear you. Nah. I ain't going to hear you, man. Straight up. So when our people start crying out, the Lord ain't going to regard that because now, as we crying out, they ain't regarding the Lord, man. You see? Let's get this in 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians 2. I think it got some um, pretty much touching on that. 
We might end it off with this. Like in that uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7. Matter of fact, let's get that first. I mean, not Wisdom of Solomon 7. Verse 5. You know, when them cherries come, missiles come, then they go realize um, we had the truth the whole time. Let's get it real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then show the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Talking about the prophets, the brothers on the highways and hedges. You see, it says, and when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Right. They will be amazed when them, when them chariots show up, Yahweh Shai, in all his glory. <laughs> I've been saying that lately, man, in all his glory, man. Right. But remember, hey, at the same time, Yahweh Shai coming. Eventually, those missiles are going to show up right behind. And this is what these two-thirds heathens are going to do. And they repenting, right? And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. This nigga? He can save <laughs> this, this Mexican? The one who was clowning because he had the wrinkled dress on on a corner holding up a sign that said missiles? It says, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How was he numbered among the children of God and his lot among the saints? Check this out. This is what they're going to say, right? Once the destruction come, therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us, man. And that day when the destruction come, it's going to hit them like, damn, that was the truth the whole time. They was telling us the truth the whole time. But again, like Isaiah said, Lord, how long shall these people be sleeping blind? The Most High said to the cities be wasted, man, without inhabitant, utterly desolate. <laughs> That's going to be this day. And it says, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through deserts where they lay no way. But as for the will of the Lord, we have not known it, man. And they're going to realize in that day. And that's the big I told you so. The biggest I told you so ever. <laughs> you see? But let's end it off on this. This is, um. Oh, let's see. Well, I mean, that's pretty much it. I was about to hit that 2 Thessalonians 2. How it says, um, well, I just read through it real quick. How uh, people blinded by the God of this world, which is Esau Edom, man. You know, let's read it real quick. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, the so-called white people, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. When Yahweh shall come back, it says, even him, even Esau, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. So the so-called white people on earth, they doing the work of Satan. The spiritual uh, demon Satan, they doing his work on the earth. And this is the work that they doing. Who is coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Why? Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And that's talking about two thirds, man. Because only our people could receive the truth. Only Israelites. You know, but they didn't repent because why? They believed in the lies that Esau told that, well, it don't matter what color guy and Jesus is. You know, matter what you eat, it ain't about what go into the, <laughs> it ain't about what go into the, my about what come out, right? You see? Not my Jesus looking ass, you know? They went, they went into the ways of the so-called white man. So therefore, the law going to allow them to be deceived by the white man. And they're going to have to die. And it says, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. That they might all be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. You see? So, hey, they're going to realize that this is the truth when it's too late. Right before their destruction, that's when they're going to realize that we had the truth. That might be the title. Right before two-thirds destruction. That's when they're going to realize that this is the truth, man. But for us, it says, but we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, the elect, 
It says, because the Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, man. That's those ones who, lest they eyes should hear, I mean, ears should hear, and lest they uh, eyes should see and convert and be healed. These are the ones. And it says, wherefore, he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jehovah Shai Mashiach, man. But with that, you know, we just wanted to touch on that law of willingness lesson. Was that a fun? Want to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you out. <clears throat> all you out came out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. Hey, keep fighting, keep pushing. Shalom.